Greetings YouTube. In this video I'll be demoing how to start up the Hornet and take it off of a carrier. As you can see our wings are folded up. We are on a Stennis. And if you do spawn on the ground the wings will not be folded. Okay, let's begin. First step as always is to turn on the battery by right clicking it. Second step is to turn on the APU. You can right or left click, doesn't matter. Once the green light lights up we're going to left click the engine crank switch to start the uh, left engine. There we go, left click. Once the RPM picks up a little bit, which is displayed up here, we will hit uh, right alt home to crack the throttle open and start it up. While we're waiting, I'm going to turn on the three MFDs by right clicking the upper knob twice on the right and the left and dragging the bottom one's brightness knob all the way to the top. Go ahead and turn on the HUD by doing the same with its brightness knob. Sound started up to me, so we will right click the engine crank switch and repeat the process with right shift home to crack the right throttle. There we go. Next step, we need to align our INS, so we go from the off position to the carrier position, CV. And while we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some console lights and arm the ejection seat. Now our wings do need to be spread, so we're going to right-click the spread wing knob twice. And we're going to hit left control C to go ahead and close the canopy. Alright, they're down. We need to lock them into place by mouse wheeling in over this knob. You can see me pulling it in and out. Okay, now we need to deal with our FCS system. So we're going to reset it with this button right here. Then we're going to come over here and press stop on this bit pages, which automatically shows up. We're going to go to FCS MC Go. And now we have to press the Y key and this M FCS button at the same time. You don't have to hold them, but you do have to press them at the same time, and it'll go through the test procedure. Which you can see it going through right now. That is required. You can't skip that test. Okay, now I'm going to hit backspace to get rid of our stick for a moment. I'm going to turn on our RWR. Turn on the uh, chaff and flare dispenser by right-clicking it twice. That'll put it into a manual mode. If you put it into the just the on position, that'll do programs. I'm not sure if they work yet. And we also have our ECM jammer down here. I'm going to go ahead and set the transmit, even though it's not actually implemented yet. We'll also go ahead and turn on the anti-skid. Turn on our oxygen system with this OBOG switch. The APU automatically turns off. And we'll go ahead and set takeoff trim by pressing in this central button here. If you want external lights, they're down here behind the throttle. Okay, we're going to set our flaps to half. And now we're just waiting on the INS, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and click this uh, left MFD button twice to uh, for mode, to just to get rid of the map so we can see it easier. Current quality is 30, or 29, and total time elapsed is 2 minutes 15 seconds. And if you want the map back, you just press that button again, twice. Simple toggle. Okay, let me go ahead and speed this up so we can... Uh, get through this part. It takes about three minutes total. Okay, there we go. We're good to go. It stops at 0 0.5 and says OK. Now we come back here to our INS alignment thing and go to the nav mode. At this point, I think we're good to go. Just let me uh, run through everything real quick. Yep, we're good. Okay, contact ground crew. Have them remove the wheel chocks. The wheel chocks. Come down here Copy. and left click the parking brake to get rid of that. Okay, we are now good to go. Next step is to get out to uh, one of these uh, launch ramps. So, to do that, we will need nose wheel high steering. So, I'm going to go into my controls and just show you what that is. Default is S, but obviously, I have that on my stick. Now, you get to see me fail miserably at doing this without head tracking or VR. This is going to be awful. So I'm nose wheel high right now and 
Jeez, this is hard. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure I'm... He'll go away, ATC. So you don't have to be perfectly aligned, you just have to be mostly there. Come on. Creep forward a little bit. Okay, that's close enough to position. Now we have to extend the launch bar by left-clicking that. It will automatically retract once we take off. Next step is to press the U key to have the ground crew hook you up and raise all the launch stuff. Okay, we are now good to go. Ignore ATC. I don't want know why that keeps popping up. Alright. Full burner, and away we go. And we are largely long for the ride in this part. Gear up, flaps up. All there is to it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.